Lambretta Tire Change Today I decided to change the front tire on my Lambretta. I knew I had to do this job in my parking spot because the wheel would be off overnight. First I had to pull the whole hub off. I removed the brake cable adjuster nut and took the brake cable out. I took the speedometer cable out. Then I had to pull the wheel off. To do this I had to loosen both nuts on either side of the axle. I used a 21mm spark plug wrench which kind of seemed a little loose, a little too big for this job. There are little washers behind each nut. Then I tried pulling the hub and wheel straight off. I had forgotten to put the scooter up on stands. I used two bricks and leaned the scooter from side to side to make this happen. Then I ran into trouble. The wheel wouldn't come off. I struggled, I tried to hit it, but this bike is my baby. It's never a good idea to hit your kids. It started to rain, so I scrambled and threw my camera inside. Then I sent a text to Benji. He's a Lambretta expert. He told me there was another bolt on the right or throttle side of the scooter that attaches to the disc brake. I hadn't seen this bolt because I was operating with directions from a drum brake scooter. Of course, after I got that third bolt, the wheel and the hub came right off. I was able to clean it all up in the rain. Of course, I don't have any footage of that because I didn't want my camera to get soaked. So here's some footage of me taking off some Vespa tires. The steps are pretty much the same and maybe in the future I'll do a Vespa tire video. The next day, it was bright and sunny, so I went back out and I went back to work on the Lambretta. Here are the tire options that I had. Here's the original Chang Shen. Chang Shen means traction. I'm thinking this tire isn't from the 60s, it's probably from the 80s. There's um, Michelin S83. These tires are really good, but I'm gonna go for these, the Continental Zippy ones, because this is a high performance machine. I used Simple green, I cleaned everything, I used a magic eraser, the rims were in really good shape, so I spray coated them clear using just a basic Krylon spray paint. My new line of thinking is to just get everything apart and then put everything back together as soon as possible. I used a simple bicycle hand pump. I used a BGM Lambretta specific tube that I got from Jet 200 in Denver. I pumped up the tube just a little bit to get the inflation started and so the rim doesn't pinch the tube. I tried fitting the rim halves together. I think the standard procedure is to position the valve opposite of the label of the tire brand. That detail shows that you're serious and you're paying attention. These tires are, I can't recommend this, don't try this at home. These tires are 10 years old or so. I bought them at P-Town Scooters when I lived in Portland. But they're a lot better than the original tires and I already have them. So this is costing me almost nothing. So I'm gonna save my money for a full engine rebuild and the electronic 12 volt system for this. The tires didn't go onto the rims very smoothly. One side stuck out. I had to squish it, squash it, squoosh it. I had to inflate them and deflate them a few times. I also tighten the nuts to the rim in a, in a pattern. On a Vespa you use 13 millimeter wrench but since the Lambretta is a higher performance machine, you use a 14 millimeter wrench. Then my neighbor came, so I had to take a break and talk to him for a while. I struggled with this tire and I sat on it and tried to get it seated properly. Finally, it looked pretty even, it looked good. It looked like it was good to go back on. I put the wheel back on the very fancy Campagnolo disc brake hub. I was getting a little sad because the original paint on this hub was falling off as I cleaned it. I was only using simple green and some paper towels. The wheel fit easily back onto that hub. Right. Then I positioned the wheel back into the forks. It went on a lot like a bicycle wheel. I had to hold it up in place and tighten those 21 millimeter nuts on each side, all three of them. And then I took the bike off the jacked up stands. That made the fork press down on the wheel. I loosened the nuts and retightened them just to make sure the hub was in place because it was a little bit off. That was it, it was back together. I reattached the front brake. That was easy because I remembered how tight the hand tightened nut was. I even reattached the speedometer cable with my handy soft edge uh, needle nose pliers that I found on the beach. Okay, thanks for watching. Next I'll probably rebuild the carb or something like that. Bye.